Well, good afternoon, everyone. For the New York Lottery, I am Yolanda Vega, along with my fellow MC, Amanda Serrano. We are here today at Resorts World Casino in Queens to reveal the sole winner of the $245.6 million jackpot from the August 11th, 2018 Powerball drawing. So, without further ado, he hails from Staten Island. Help me welcome and congratulate Nandlal Mangal. Now, tell us, Nandlal, do you always play Powerball and Mega Millions? No, I don't. Not all the time. Only when it gets really big. Okay, so do you play scratch-offs? No, I don't. So you don't play the lottery much, only when the jackpot gets to be bigger than how much? Bigger than about 100 million. Oh, boy, that's, that's your quota there, huh? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> So walk us through the day that you purchased your winning ticket. Did you wake up feeling particularly lucky? Did you see a penny on the floor? Was your palms itchy? What? No, it was just a regular day. I went to work. It was a Saturday. I came home, went to do some grocery after work, and I saw that the Powerball was really high, so I decided to play a couple of dollars. Okay, so you invested, you told me, $10 in lottery tickets. You bought $6 in quick pick Powerballs and $4 in lotto? Yes, that's correct. Okay, so you obviously didn't pick your own numbers. You did quick pick? All quick pick, always. All and, quick pick. And what line won you here? What line? First, second, or third? The third line. And tell me those winning numbers? The winning numbers are 5, 43, 56, 62, 68, and the lucky number of 24. Lucky numbers for sure. Now, did you watch the drawing that? It was a Saturday afternoon. Did you watch the drawings that Saturday night? No, I did not. I did not watch the drawings. So, when did you find out that you won? About a week and a half later. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute. You bought the ticket. You didn't see the drawing. Where did you put that ticket until a week and a half when you found out you'd won? Well, I went home, put all my groceries away, put the ticket on my kitchen table, and I went away for a couple of days after that. And the ticket sat on your kitchen table? Sat on my kitchen table for a week. Oh, my goodness. So you went away, and then you came back, and you did what? Well, we came back and uh, realized that no one had claimed the ticket about a week and a half later. So I said, let me check. You never know. So I checked the ticket, and I realized I had the numbers. Oh, my goodness. So what were you doing? Like going through the – did you go on the website? We went, I went on the computer on the website. Well, first I checked the Powerball. If you don't have the Powerball, you don't win. So, okay. check the Powerball. See, I had the Powerball, so I decided to check that line. Checking that line, you have all the numbers, you're amazed. You can't believe it. And you were amazed, couldn't believe it? What else was going on in your heart and in your head? Um, I really can't explain it. It's just that feel, it's a feeling like you cannot explain. You just can't explain it. It's just so, crazy. So, did you call somebody right away or what? No, I just uh, checked it, put it away, checked it the next day. Put it in the safety deposit box. Oh, you, put, you went to the bank to a safe deposit box? Put it away in a safety deposit box. Okay, were you working all those days? Yeah, I'm still working. Just life is normal? Life is normal. Oh, my goodness gracious. Did you realize $245 million? Yes. Yes. It says so on the computer, $245 million. So, who was the first person that you called? Well, after I realized I won, I did some research in the computer, and I found a lawyer. I called Jason Curlin. And he was the first person you called? First person I told. Oh, my goodness gracious. So, Nandlal claimed his prize in the form of a trust. On behalf of the Sea and Sand Trust, he has chosen to receive his Powerball prize as a one-time lump sum payment totaling in the trust bank account a total after taxes. You all ready? $99 million. $321,975. That is almost $100 million in cash. Well, how does that sound to you? Still can't believe it. Still can't believe it. You'll believe it when you see the money? Probably, yeah. I'll probably pass out. Any advice that you have for lottery players uh, watching you right now? Yeah, keep playing. If it could happen to me, it could happen to anyone. Just keep playing the lotto. And if you win, call Jason Curlin. So, uh, my final question, what are your plans for all those millions of dollars? Well, I'm going to invest some. Obviously, because of the Sea and Sand Trust. Yes, I'm going to invest some, pay off my bills, my debts. Okay. Um, any new toy, like maybe a vehicle with all the bells and whistles? 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure at some time I'm going to buy a new car. Okay. And um, any other really cool plans that you want to do, like right away? Well, I always wanted to travel, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to travel. Oh, wow. With all this money, I'm sure you can travel a lot of places. Any particular place in mind? Yes, I would like to go to Hawaii. Hawaii. Not there we go. Sea and sand, right? There you go. Sea and sand. <laughs> can I come with you? Sure you Yay! can. Yay! Well, I have Amanda Serrano here that's going to help me present something to you that's going to make all those dreams and plans a reality. Congratulations to Sea and Sand Trust on your $245 million win! Hold it lower. Yay! Yay! Where's my Scott? Oh, there he is. Should we pan it around? Hold on. He's smiling. All right. Well, this is going to do it for us right here. But before we take some more photos and open it up to one-on-ones, I'd like to have Amanda Serrano come on over here and award another check. Amanda? Thank you, Yolanda. So, Nens Law purchases jackpot winning Powerball ticket at the Stop and Shop on Highland Boulevard in Staten Island. For selling that winning ticket, Stop and Shop receives a $10,000 bonus check from the New York Lottery. So, I'd like to invite up Stop and Shop store manager Larry D'Antonio and district director Carlos Ramos to accept their check and say a few words. Larry, here, come right over here. You want to take pictures first? Sure. We'll take pictures first. All right, Larry. Good afternoon. As the manager at the store on Highland Boulevard that sold the winning ticket, uh, I'm very happy the winner comes from Staten Island. I'm from Staten Island also, so it makes me even more happier. We wanted to pay it forward and keep the good luck flowing on Staten Island. So with the $10,000 commission we received for selling the winning ticket, we donated it to uh, Project Hospitality, the largest food and soup kitchen on Staten Island. We hope to inspire others, as Nadell, to maybe pay his fortune similar. It was a great day on Staten Island, and the community, and we congratulate Nadell Mangal and wish him all the luck in the world, and hopefully I'll see him in the store soon. Yay! Thank you. Yay. Thank you so much, Larry. I'll pass it right over to Yolanda again. Stand right over here, Nadell. Well, that does it for us up here at the podium. So at this point, I'd like to thank everyone here at Resorts World Casino for hosting us today. And I'd like to specifically introduce you to the president of Resorts World Casino in New York City, Scott Molina. Come on over and take a picture with us. Come on over next to my winner, Nendlo. So we'll take a picture. Yay! Thank you, Scott, so much for, for always hosting us. Thank you so much. Yes, yes. And now, finally, we're going to take a few more photos with our big millionaire, and then we'll open it up for one-on-one. -on -one. So once again, on behalf of the New York Lottery, I am Yolanda Vega. And I'm Amanda Serrano. Wishing everybody a whole lot of luck. Another round of applause for our new millionaires, Nanlo!
All right, now we'll open it up for one-on-one, -on -one, so ask away. Listen. I work in the city, I do construction. Yes. Well, as of right now, I'm still working, so I don't know. <laughs> I might, no, I took off today. I haven't told anyone yet. Yes. What she said? Where's Staten Island you from? I ran on that state. Quick, quick pick, yeah. Uh, I've been living on Staten Island for 11 years now. About once a week. Not very, only when it's really big. I'm not sure, I haven't decided that yet. Uh, I haven't decided that yet, I have to talk to that with my lawyer. Ned Are you going to continue living in Staten Island? Continue living in Staten Island? Um, haven't decided that yet either, don't know. <laughs> That's to continue living in Staten Island. <laughs> That's a good question. I mean, I've never come across this kind of money before, so I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Still in shock. How many times have you played the lottery or not that often, right? Any time you played? I mean, probably at least 50 times because the ladder goes up pretty high pretty quick at least I would say at least 50 times no no yeah. never won no I was born in Guyana I was raised in Brooklyn why because I was first of all I wasn't home for five days and when I came back I mean I was just sitting I, I really don't check the ticket out often <laughs> whoever think they're gonna win the lotto <laughs> Nen Lal, are you single? Do you have children? I'd rather not talk about that. Okay. Are you going to work tomorrow? No. <laughs> He's going no. about that so for a minute. Notice on TV too. What? You're giving notice on TV too. <laughs> oh, no, I call my boss later. <laughs> yeah, I went to Maryland, Ocean City, Maryland. I mean, everyone does. That's why you play. Travel. <laughs> Going to travel. That's just the plan number one. No. I, I'm, I'm, I'm taking with him. With, I'm taking with him. I'm going with him. <laughs> what helped me stay grounded? I mean, I'm I'm a pretty level guy, but Jason helped a lot. <laughs> Jason's a very calming person. Uh, I mean, the things that are going through your mind, you really can't explain. I, 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 I can't say. I, I mean, you realize you got the, the winning ticket, then you're like, wow, I can't believe it's me. <laughs> you know, it's, it's just a weird feeling. It's nervous. You're nervous. You're excited. You're it's a whole bunch of emotions. I told no one except him. <laughs> he was the first guy I called. Yes, I hope. And again, advice for any other dreamers for the lottery? Yeah, if it could happen to me, it could happen to anyone. Keep playing. Well, well that's, what every, that's what everyone says. If you win the lotto, put it away. So that's what I did. Put it in a white envelope and took it to the bank. Yeah, yeah, no, put it in the car, in, in the glove box, drove to the... I didn't want it to fly out the window, so I put it in the glove box. That would have been bad. These are not my numbers, they're quick picks. No, I'm not going to play lotto anymore, I'm, I'm done. Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> time for someone else to win. Yeah. Did you hear what he said? He said, time for someone else to win. Aww. Yeah. Any other questions? If it wasn't required, would you have come forward? 
I didn't hear the question. It's required that you come forward because it's New York State Lottery. If it wasn't required, would you have come forward? Uh, probably, uh, probably not. Probably not. But this wasn't, you know, this you have to do this, so. He would have, he would have. Flashy guy. I'm not a very flashy guy. <laughs> and he would have never met me otherwise, right? I always wanted to meet her, so. No, went to work. Yeah, just like normal. Every day normal. No. No. They're going to know right now. Sorry, guys. Sorry, I apologize. So you haven't told anyone but your lawyer up until now? Yep. And how much. did you find him? How did you know to go to him? Well, I looked online, and he was the best guy to go to. He takes care of all the lotto winners, so. Okay. Have you talked to your family? Have you, have you told your family or friends? No, not yet. I'm pretty sure they're going to be happy. <laughs> if they're not, well, too bad. I'm pretty sure they'll be happy. Are you afraid you're going to find out you have a few family <laughs> If I didn't know them two weeks ago, I don't know them today. So don't come forward. Do you have a large family? I have a pretty... Uh, yeah, no, I just don't want to talk to them. <laughs> I'm not going to go into that. So if that does it, we're going to take some photos. So, um... Another big round of applause for Nan Lo! $245 million! All right.